Hey, Gemini, let's do your reading. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Let's find out what's going on with Gemini. What's going on with Gemini? Hard to open up. They fear being vulnerable and risk being hurt emotionally. Wow, you've got someone that uh, you need to be more patient yeah, in terms of your dealings with them. Uh, especially in communication. Yeah? If you want to communicate to this person, um, you need to um, be more patient because you have someone here who fears being vulnerable. Yeah, because you know it's 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 a process. Um, it's a way sometimes people don't want to be vulnerable because they may have been hurt in the past and um, they don't want to go through the same pain over and over again. You know, like trusting someone and opening up to someone and then subjected to forms of vulnerability. So you might find that uh, you have someone in your life where it's hard to op um, they're hard to open up even to you right but this doesn't necessarily mean that they are not interested or they're not um committed or not into commitment yeah sometimes you tell people that um they're not being vulnerable because they're emotionally innovate and available it doesn't have to be always that case let's check your tarot what do we have for gemini let's find out um the current feelings of this person their next steps and their intentions yeah yeah an ace of wands current feelings ace of wands so the interest is there it's pretty fiery um somebody who wouldn't even hesitate to make some moves if needed but with ones, it's more about actions. Yeah, what a person would is willing to do. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five of swords. Mm. Let's clarify this. A five of swords um, speaks about um, well, playing, perhaps games. Somebody might seem to be playing games. But given that if someone is hard to open up, it could be that um, low self-esteem. I feel like it's it's more about a person's um, self-esteem. If they've been hurt in the past, definitely they need some time to recover that level of esteem, right? Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. So, attraction, someone wants to open up as well. <laughs> All right, nine of swords, uh, nine of cups, and the king, the knight of swords. Nine of cups and the knight of swords. So this person is interested towards you. It could be a new person that you're trying to meet with the ace. It's the beginning. But it looks like this is a person who's happy. <laughs> happy with good intentions and pretty straightforward when you talk to them. Yeah, this is someone who's oh, willing to communicate, to tell you exactly their purpose. Um, it could probably appear cold. Yeah, this person will just be direct, maybe blunt. Um, but this is someone who would definitely tell you what's in their mind. You couldn't expect much about, you know, emotional bonding. Maybe bonding is not there yet emotionally. But in terms of honesty, directness, you can get it from this person. And I feel like they are interested in you. For the most part, I feel like they are very much fascinated with you, around you, um, Gemini. They are um, excited. They're happy being around you. Also, you can see it as this person is also satisfied with their own life you know someone who is um who has achieved some level of stability in their life they're good with their um 
with their status, with their job, with everything that they're doing, except for one. And that probably is emotional fulfillment that would come from relationship. So they could be available yeah, to the people or to a specific person that they would want to open up with or that can open them up. Make sense? But I feel like they're, they're interested in you. Yeah, attraction-wise, physically, it's, it's pretty strong. Um... Let's find out. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, stability-wise, it looks like this person is pretty good. Yeah, and um, good with their money, finances. Uh, somebody who's capable of uh, paying their own bills, uh, have extra money to do other stuff, like um, their own hobbies, painting, golf, or even traveling. And somebody who can afford yeah, to spend on extra stuff. Um, in terms of love, though, this is someone who's looking, yeah, they're looking for uh, a serious type of relationship. That means that you can see this person is someone who is uh, stable on their, in their life right now. And the only missing piece is the love side, the, the love aspect of it. And for now, definitely they know what they're looking for. They're looking for someone who they can have um, deep, honest conversation, somebody who wouldn't judge them, and somebody that they can connect with, you know, mentally. You have more uh, commonality. Yeah. You can talk about common topics um, or mutual topics. And as well, emotionally, if they open up to you, then you get to understand them. You know, they're looking for that type of person that they can connect emotionally. They can be, you know, they feel safe when they're opening up. Yeah. And physically too, you know. Physical attraction, physical compatibility is important. So this person is looking for that. A person who is very much com um, com compatible with them. Yeah. And somebody that they can commit. So they're ready for commitment as long as um, they can... Commit to the right person for them. It doesn't have to be a perfect person, but the right person for them. Their next step is the Two of Cups. Definitely uh, looking for romantic connection. That's the missing piece in their life. Looking for someone that could be of the same page with them. Um, a lot of um, mutual interests. Yeah, Somebody who is also interested to have a relationship, a serious type of relationship. A more stable type of relationship. Because mm -hmm. it seems like this person has been through a lot of other experiences in the past. And they are tired of um, staying strong or, you know, st staying strong after a breakup. Or somebody who's, who's been there, done that type of person. And they are over over the um, the dating uh, field, right? This is someone who's now looking for just the right one for them. And it's likely that it's with you because they're popping up in your reading and it looks like their next step is to promote um, two of cups, is to find out whether both of you are in sync, whether both of you are compatible. So at this point, it is obvious that you like this person and they like you back. And now it's more about testing the compatibility. Are you both compatible? Are you, do you have more topics that you can talk together, that you can talk about? You know, it's, it's very hard if, um, you know, the interest is, is different for two people and wanting to be in a serious relationship. It's, yeah, there needs to be at least an acceptable level of compatibility. Right, And their intention is the Queen of Cups. They're looking for someone that they can love. They can um, take care. It seems like this person is the nurturer type of person. And they're looking for someone who could... Um, who they can be with. Yeah, And uh, like some level of support on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't have to be financial. This is more like somebody they can check on and will check on them. Um, you know, to have that bond and somebody that they can love. 
they can nurture the relationship with. Yeah. They're really looking for someone that um, is good for them. Someone that they know is compatible for them. So definitely, like I said, this is a person who, from the get-go, from the moment you met this person, they already know what they're looking for. So they're looking for a relationship, a commitment, um, or being able to get married, for, for example, and that they're looking for someone who could fit yeah, with them. Yeah, compatible. The right person for them. And when that happens, once that person sees that, yeah, this is the person for me, they will do everything they can to, to, to work out that relationship. Yeah, they're ready for commitment and enjoy life. So you are, you are with someone, right? And, and to do exactly, you know, to give the other person like due respect, due happiness, meaning they would reciprocate. They would do whatever they can to make you happy. Um, and also they expect something in return, which is to make each other happy, to make each other loved or feel loved. Yeah. They're ready for a serious relationship. That's what I have for you for now, Gemini. And um, let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.